looks good. Very nice. It looks good color. really nice. Good color. And then we have another way that we like to thank people. So I made it to Decatur, Illinois, to Milliken University to show choir camp. Uh, tonight was the night they have their professional Broadway star, and it was Karen Mason, and she was really, really good. Um, I guess she just finished um, that new show, Wonderland, that are, has already closed. It closed within, like, I don't know, somebody can correct me, but like 30 showings or... 30 day. It didn't last so long at all, but she sang a song from it, and she was amazing. And so afterwards, um, so tonight, Russ was like, well, I bet they're downstairs at the hotel sports bar or whatever if you want to go say hi or whatever. So I went in, and I went in and talked to her, which I'm shocked because most of the time I'd be, like, too shy to go talk to her, but she was very nice and very talkative and talked shop with me, which was kind of funny because I'm like, she probably doesn't want to talk about singing. But anyway, she did. She's very nice. Um, other than that, I got here um, 4 o'clock Illinois time, 5 o'clock Indiana time. Well, let's start before that. This morning, it started storming at like 6 o'clock in the morning. Maybe even earlier. And I ended up with a pressure headache from the storm. So it woke me up. And then I'd probably gone to bed at like 2.30. So this is like three and a half hours sleep. So then I woke up and uh, looked outside and it was really stormy. Then the hail started hitting the windows and all that. It stormed like that until like 10.30 in the morning. And uh, all the streets were flooded. My street, The street that goes by my apartment, 75th Street, is gone. Just It was just gone. And the building, the company next to it, all the people that worked night shift, their parking lot was gone. So their cars were all pretty much destroyed. I don't know how you save a car from that. Um, I had to pick up my car on uh, my rental car on 96th Street. 96th Street was gone. So my boss called me at like 10:30 in the morning, and he's like, "Yeah, um, Betsy tried to get her rental car and she couldn't. So I don't know if you're going to be able to." But by the time I went, which was around noon, I was able to get to it with a few detours and get my car. So anyway, then I got here at around 4 Illinois time, 5 Indiana time, and um, one of the first pe people that I saw was Sally Albrecht. Um, she works for Alfred Publishing, and she was so nice to me, which I really liked, because some days you meet um, composers, arrangers, and you're like, you could be nicer. But anyway, she was really nice. She gave me a hug, asked me how it was, and I was, that's so nice. And then um, I came back, checked into the hotel, and then went back, and we all had dinner. Sally and um, Mark Brimer, who works for Hal Leonard, and uh, my boss, we all had dinner at a little Italian restaurant. So it was pretty good. I'm not big on going out to eat for Italian, as people, as my friends know, um, and as my boss actually knows, because he used to take us out to eat, well, every year for Italian at Christmas. Last year we had Mexican. But anyway. I get off topic. So, yeah, dinner with Mark Brimer and Sally Albrecht and my boss. And then a show, which was the kind of cabaret ish thing with um, Karen Mason. So, it turned out to be a pretty good day. Uh, what I did record was they always sing to their guest. The kids sing at camp. Um, it's, I think it's hard to say goodbye or whatever it's called. Well, I'm sure they'll sing it again, but um, I would have recorded the singer. Karen, but even the kids were being really good about it, and I didn't want to be a bad example and record, so um, maybe later in the week I'll get some more of the kids or something. I know they'll record the kids singing and stuff like that, so alright, have a great week everybody.